Welcome back guys to another Steam Deck video and in this video we're talking about Lutris, the game manager that lets you play games from a bunch of different sources. For those of you that hate third party launchers like GOG, H.io, Humble Bundle, Battle.net, Epic Games, Lutris is one of the good alternatives to allow you to play your games from those different third party services on the Steam Deck just fine and have it look pretty good as well, right? I hate third party launchers. Why don't developers and publishers just release their games on Steam? Yeah, Steam wants 30%. They want their, they want their cut for listening on the Steam store, but come on, just do it for convenience sake, all right? But anyways, let's get into this update. I'm Blaze2K, okay. please like, subscribe, click the bell icon for more Steam Deck content on your YouTube home page every day. Liking this video really helps out guys, so please like it immediately, immediately. Let's get into it. So guys, before we get into this really fast, I just want to uh, share my favorite Steam Deck accessories list. It's an Amazon list with all the accessories you possibly want or need for your Steam Deck. SSDs, thumbstick covers, battery packs, chargers, cases, docks, portable keyboards, AR glasses to let you play your Steam Deck on the go. Um, there's a grand, brand new deal on a Samsung 512 Evo Select micro SD cards, 39.99, 53% off. It's still on sale. Go buy it if you want an SD card for pretty damn cheap. 40 bucks for 512, that's a good deal. Um, and it's the right speed for your Steam Deck as well. So go check out this. I'll put a link in the video description and top comment of this video. Go check it out, share it with friends, bookmark it. I'm always adding stuff to it. Um, whenever I find a cool new Steam Deck accessory, like this little wireless keyboard, Bluetooth keyboard retract, Bad here i add it to the list so keep an eye on it bookmark it share with friends it's great for gift ideas too anyways on to the article so um Lutris, Linux and Steam Deck game manager. Lutris has a fresh beta out. Lutris is an all-in-one game manager that brings your games from different places under one roof. And a second beta is now available for zero, version 0 0.5.13. With this release, it will have support for Steam, GOG, itch.io, Humble Bundle, Battle.net, Epic Games, emulators, and much, much more. And this is what it looks like. It looks pretty darn clean, if you ask me. Now, this is probably on the desktop view, uh, desktop view but this probably launches in the Steam Deck SteamOS uh, console interface too, probably just like this. So you will have to navigate it with touch or something, possibly, um, or the trackpads. Um, here's all what's new in the upcoming 0.5.13 um, as of beta 2. So we're, I'm going to be installing Lutris and Heroic Launcher guys in a future video. So stay tuned, subscribe, click the bell icon so you're notified. Um, showing you this work in action, right? Because I've got a bunch of games in the Epic Game Store as well on Origin, Ubisoft Connect, that I want to be able to try and play on the Steam Deck, including the new X Defiant FPS game from Ubisoft. So I really want to try that on the Steam Deck. So stay tuned, click the bell icon to be notified of that when I post it. Um, but yeah, here's what it looks like. It looks pretty nice, right? So let's go through the changes. So they've added support for Proton, add drag and drop on the main, main window, drop files will be matched, no intro, redump and toolsec checksums, added support for ModDB links in installers, ModDB Python module required, added missing sidebar option for games whose directory is missing, restyle the configuration preferences installer and add game windows, um, group configuration options into sections, so I'm glad they restyled the restyle and stuff, it looks pretty clean as it is though, um, group configuration options into sections, added the checkbox to stop asking for the launch config for a game, added the checkbox to sort install game games first um, that is kind of nice support for the launch code fix and shortcuts and command line show platform badges or banners and cover art that is kind of cool there installing games from setup files can now use different presets win 98 3dfx etc added filter field to runner list um, a lot of this stuff is hum mumbo jumbo to me but you might it may not be to you so I'm going to read it, I'm reading it anyway. Um, show game count and search bar, that's pretty cool. Work around Humble Bundle authentication issues by allowing importing cookies from Firefox, okay. They've added H.io integration. They've added Battle.net integration. Proto buff dependency required, so there are stuff required to run that. Improve detection of DOSBox games on GOG. Added unspecified Vulkan ICD option. Removed res residual VM, now merged with scum VM. Detect obsolete Vulkan drivers and default to DXVK 1. whatever to for them. Um, improved high DPI support for custom media and performance improvements. According to the developer on Mastodon, Lutris is now able to install and run other flat packs, which is a big improvement in compatibility for Steam Deck users, especially. To download the beta, there's a pre-made.deb for Debian-based uh, distributions, plus the source file includes the bin file you can run manually. Otherwise, compile from source or wait until the full re release where it will get updated on Flathub. 
So there you go, guys, a new update for Lutris, and I'm excited to try and get this running in my Steam Deck. It's one of the things I've neglected to do for a long time, because there's a couple of games now, including, including Dead Island 2, that I'm going to have to get running on my Steam Deck, and I'm going to have to use a third-party launcher to get Epic Game Store working on my Steam Deck on SteamOS, and I'm going to either use Lutris or Heroic Launcher, um, and I'm going to be doing a video on how to do that and show you my results with it. So stay tuned, like I said, for that video, and um, that pretty much covers this video. I just wanted to give you a quick update. Um, go check out my Amazon list of favorite Steam Deck accessories, link in the video description and top comment, everything you need for your Steam Deck for yourself, for gift ideas, um, including some new sales, like this micro SD card that I said I talked about at the start of the video for $39.99, 53% off, pretty damn good deal for a 512. Um, this is a place you really want to save because I'm always fighting stuff for the Steam Deck and I'm always adding it to this list. Um, I do earn commissions, some commissions on sales, so there is that, but really first of all most importantly it's a good resource that i just wanted to put up there with everything in one page and it's all amazon as well with prime delivery so it's a really good resource that you might want to use yourself for shipping friends anyways guys that's it hopefully that was helpful if you're a lutris user hopefully that update log change log helped inform you as to what's changed um yeah let me know if you use lutris or heroic launcher to play games from other launchers on your steam deck and the results you've had with it has it been successful? Has it helped you out? Is it any good? Let me know because I'm about to install it on mine. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy your weekend. It's Blaze2K signing off. Peace.